Hi everyone, how are you going? It's Wendy. I have been sitting out in my lounge room making some wo paper woven tags. They are so cool. I'm just having so much fun. Um, I saw this technique from Paula Federa. Federa? Federa? Paula Federa. Oh, I can't remember her last name. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Sorry, Paula. But I'll link Paula's channel below. Um, and I just thought, oh, they look so cool. And I just, they are so easy to make. So I just thought I'd come on and just show you how I've, or what I've been doing. So I've got some scrap papers. Um, this bit of scrap paper I'm going to use for the backing, so I'll just leave that over there. And this is just a scrap bit of calendar that I used the other part in a journal that I've just made. And this one was just another cut off piece of paper. And on the back of it, all you do is mark a top and a bottom line and you don't cut past those lines and then just two lines down the side where you want to start and finish. Now um, I just use my blade and depending on how many lines you cut, with this one here I've cut eight lines and you get the tabs evenly matched on the side but if you only cut, I think this was seven lines, um, they're kind of like jagged at the side there, if you know what I mean. But it still looks really cool, whichever way you do it. So all I was doing was starting right up. you got to make sure your blade's sharp. I think mine might be getting a bit blunt now. You start right up at the top line and I've just been doing squiggly lines down the side and then you finish up right at the bottom line and then you just keep doing that for how many lines you ever want to do um, you can do straight ones I'm just I just thought the squiggly lines looked really cool So I've got one, two, three, four, and just start up at the top and go down to the bottom. Five, whoops, six. Oh, my blade is starting to get a bit blunt now. Six, seven. And eight. Okay, so I've cut eight lines, and then you just turn it over, and you can see the lines there. Now, Paula was also going along the side of where she cut with some ink, but I'm not going to worry about that. Um, and then you get some more scrap papers. I should have had this already done, but you just cut your little strips of paper for how wide you ever want it. Mine, I'm kind of like using thin ones. Well, they are thin ones, but not really measuring the exact size. I'm just kind of like eyeballing it. So I'll just quickly do all these. My blade is getting blunt now because normally I wouldn't have to go through it twice. I've got this piece of paper folded over to... I don't know if that one cut then. Eh? 
Okay, that should do me. So I've got all my little cut pieces of paper. I can move this out of the way now. And then it is just a matter of weaving them in. So I'm going to start, go top, um, under, 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 under. So you just kind of, I'm pretty sure you all know how to weave, you just go um, like under, over, under, over, under, over, under. And then the next line, because I've started over there, I'm going to come from the bottom and go under, and then over, then under, then over, then under, then over, then under, then over, and under. So how I've been doing it out there, um, I put on about three strips. So this one's going over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Um, and it's always the opposite from what you've done with your last strip you put in. And then just been pushing them up so they're nice and tight together. Right, and when I do three, I just grab a little dab of glue and just put one little dab of glue there just to hold these ones in place so they don't go slipping around everywhere. Oh, and I didn't rip that one there. Hang on. I wonder if I can just pull that out. See, I've got these papers folding in half. I forgot all about that. So I just pulled the bottom part of this off. See, I had these papers folded in, in half and I just forgot to rip them apart. But that's not a biggie. Okay, so, and then you just keep going down. So that one there is an over, so I'll go under and start that way. But I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do this, some kind of weaving. It's so, so simple. You just go under, over, under, over. Now, another one, so that's one's under, this goes over. them up. So that's an over, this was under. Okay, I might just put a bit of glue on that one. over there, bit of glue. Okay, so I shall just continue doing this weave and I'll just stick it in fast forward so I'm not here all day. Now when you do get down to the the bottom of it, it does get a little bit harder to do that weave, but you just, that's when I really have to take my time. So you just need to just take your time and go slow.
which sometimes I need to just push that in there just to get it under just like that and then push it up again and do the next one I do find when I get to down the bottom that if I just move it along with the help of the point on my blade I can do it a lot easier and push it up nice and tight just put a bit more glue there Okay, so I could either stop it there, but I think I've got room just for another one just down the bottom there. So I'll grab this one and just do one more. This is where it does get a little bit tight. So I'll put that in. And I just use the blade on my my um, the point on my blade, sorry, just to maneuver that paper in and under the cut strips. Just to work it in a bit. So that's the last one in there. Okay, so that's that. I'll put a bit of glue there. I don't know if I did or not. That side. Now, from there, I just get my scissors and just trim off these parts on the side. So there it is there. That's the weave on the the paper tag and then I just get a strip of or recycled cardboard I've been using and I've just put using some of the double sided tape so I put that on there Oops and a piece there and one up there um, when I put the double sided tape on I just put them on the, um, the ends where the cut marks were just to keep it a little bit um, just to give it a little bit more stability Oops. and I will put some tacky glue on here and just stick it on to, and I'm sticking it on the pattern side because I want the bank, the back of it blank. And then I'll just stick that onto there, give it a nice push down, and just trim around my card. I can hear the kids outside playing. Uh, 
and trim the bottom off and there you go how cool is that a paper weave woven um, tag a paper woven tag okay that's that's how easy and simple they are I really like that, that one with the bright colors and then um, then you can go and just add a focal image on it or you could just stink up around the edges um, punch a hole in the top like I've done for these ones up here um, and then just put some fibers up the top but that looks so cool I just re I'm really enjoying them okay so that's just my quick little um, what I'm doing today how to do it quick little wasn't really a tutorial was it was a, more of a um, can't even think of the word okay okay guys so that's what I've been up to just the last just today sitting out there just listening to a bit, a bit of the silly square box and just making up some paper paper weave tags okay hope you enjoyed go and make some for yourself and that's it. I shall catch you later. Bye-bye.